Hello fellow travelers, I'm Nomad Jim, a retired, minimalist, solo, full-time, slow traveler. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I want to share with you some items that I always take along with me when I travel. And these are some items that maybe you wouldn't have thought about taking with you. So let's get started. The first item that I always take with me is this, and this is a sink stopper. So at some point in your travels, you're probably going to need to wash some things in the sink, just a few items. So it's important to be able to have a sink basin that's going to hold water. And in most places, you'll have a plunger there that you, you, know, you pull up and the plunger will go down and it will hold water in the sink for you. But sometimes it doesn't work, or in some cases it doesn't even exist. There's no way to hold water in the sink at all. So by having one of these, you can use this in any sink anywhere in the world. I've never seen any place where it didn't work. It works really well. It's, it's very flexible, so it can fit in any kind of shape of the uh, bottom of a sink, and it will hold the water in there so that you can do your washing. Another item that I always take with me is a reusable shopping bag, something like this. This is one that I got in Argentina. And what you're going to find most places around the world is that when you go to a grocery store, they're not going to put your items into a bag. They're going to expect you to bring your own bag so you can put your items in that bag. So you want to have your own grocery bag with you so that you can have something to put your items into. So carrying a reusable shopping bag like this is a great idea. Another item that I've found useful to have and bring with me is a small scissors like this one. There's been a lot of times when I've been in an apartment or in a hotel where there wasn't a scissors available and I needed it to cut something and didn't have anything available. So I've started taking this along with me and I'm surprised by how many times I've actually needed to use it. So it's come in handy a lot of times. Now I will mention also, if you're only doing a carry-on luggage, you don't check in your luggage, you carry everything onto the plane with you, then this might be a little bit of a problem to take with you because it may not be allowed on the plane. Another item that I bring with me is this, and it's a power bank. So it provides backup power, battery power, if you need power for some reason, if the power goes out. Now, in some places around the world, that may come in handy because power does occasionally go out in certain places, and it may be regularly going out for an hour or two at a time uh, every day. You never really know. So having something like this as a backup for power, in case the power does go out, it's a good idea to have that. Personally, I've never used it, but I like having it available to me in case I ever do need it. Another item that I always have with me is this. It's a portable carbon monoxide detector. And I think it's a very important thing to have because you do hear stories from time to time in different places all around the world where people die because of carbon monoxide poisoning. So having this device in my hotel room, in my apartment, gives me that peace of mind that I don't have to worry about that. Another item I like to have with me is this, a thermometer. And I think it's nice to have it because there are times when you may feel a little bit under the weather and you start to wonder if you're getting sick. Do you have a fever? Are you starting to come down with something? So by having a thermometer available to you, you can easily check and see how you're doing. This last item that I'm going to show you is something you may think is a little strange, but I have to tell you I've used it on a number of occasions, and it's this. This is a mosquito net. It's essentially one that you put over your head, and you can use it when you're hiking, and I have used it when hiking in places where there's lots of bugs and lots of mosquitoes and things like that, and it helps when you're hiking, but it also can help you when you're inside of your apartment or your hotel and there's some mosquitoes flying around. And there's nothing more annoying than having a mosquito buzzing around your ear while you're trying to sleep. 
and you can't get to sleep because it keeps buzzing around or it keeps biting you and you end up getting these mosquito bites all over you. So when I'm sleeping, there has been occasions where I actually put it over my head while I was sleeping so that I would be protected from mosquitoes. So it can come in handy in a variety of different situations. So those are some unusual items that I always take along with me. Do you have any items that you always take with you? If so, please share those in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, let's get out there and travel.